you know what I would really love? For women to just be described as women sometimes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today is another episode of my series that I will link up here the playlist if you want to look at it. I talk a lot about kink shaming and tropes within books and stuff like that and basically anything within the bookish world that has been gnawing on my noggin. And one thing that has been gnawing on my noggin for a really long time and that I haven't found the way of putting into words is the treatment of women in bookland, basically. And that is how women are described within books, particularly within YA. Now, this is not to say that women in YA are the worst because honestly, I believe YA really opened the door for women to be just more than sexy and um, voluptuous sexual objects for men. What I do think, however, is that we've swung that pendulum in another direction, which is very strange, where we have now this stereotypical woman trope. I, I, I no, well, girl, I guess, because most of them are under uh, the age of 18, is just another version of the not like other girls trope. Let me explain. Women are either described one of two ways in books, and I'm not just talking about YA here, just YA, just, just books in general. One of them is in comparison to other women. This means that there is a group of women and then there is a group of other women. So that like uh, in itself, the fact that we're pined against each other from our very description of a character just leads us down this road of women are described again within certain terms. You are either this woman or you are either this woman. It's like there are no gray areas. And then there is the fact that what I have found in most YA, and this is why DNF most YA books once they describe a girl, is that we have swung the pendulum in the, well, it, most of our heroines in YA literature are either girls that are just basically not like other girls. They don't like makeup, they don't like the stereotypical feminine things that women like. And that really pisses me off because why did we go from we don't want to be this to being this is bad and then we're just shaming other women for being like that. I think that the, the two last books that I've read that come to mind is number one, the, the Darker Shade of Magic book. The, the, the main female protagonist denounces women that dress with petticoats and she has short hair and she is, you know, a rebel and she knows how to fight and stuff like that. And that is our new stereotype of female empowerment which is okay but that doesn't mean that other types of female empowerment are not okay like it doesn't mean that just because somebody wears a petticoat and doesn't do what you do or doesn't you know fight like you fight it doesn't like they're not good enough for you you know or they're not good enough and, and just the fact that they're not good enough for the female character. We're not even talking about how males look at women yet, but how women look at other women within stories. The other one I read was a, it was a, a thriller about getting lost in the woods. I don't remember. I'll insert the, the, the book here if I remember the name. But basically the main female character is number one. She sees her, she, she goes up into the woods and she's the woodsy girl, you know? She, she doesn't care about getting dirty and getting muddy because of course, the other girls do. And she also is like more one of the boys. And, and why, why is it that every time I read about a woman, she has to either be delicate and sweet and gentle and everything or one of the boys? Like, that's it, there's no, middle there and also a delicate sweet woman can't be one of the boys and uh, one of the boys girl can't be sweet and delicate like men don't have this problem they're described simply not in comparison to other men generally of course there are exceptions there except the love interest which is compared as being 
blah 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 against everyone else and that's how you know he's the love interest but women were just like stuck in this box of femininity is not okay anymore like we're not allowed to be feminine within the book sphere anymore I, I, I just and if we are then we're weak and if we are we are only there to get raped murdered and to advance the male storyline or to be, be made fun of for not being what we're supposed to be which is not feminine but going back to the book that I was reading um, this girl of course she gets you know described this way and I was like okay I'm willing to overlook it but then the whole plot centers around the fact that her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend comes and she's exactly the opposite of what she is and of course what does this mean she's a sexy bombshell everyone the, the, the main antagonist for the first 30 pages then it changes because the point is that this girl gets lost in the woods because she just doesn't want to be around her ex-boyfriend's girlfriend anymore her, no her her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend anymore there we go it's just ridiculous like you really made this book all about a girl hating on another girl because she's sexy and voluptuous and 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 she gained weight in all of the right places what pray tell tell me what those right places are you know where do we gain weight that is the right place to gain weight i'm sorry if i gain weight in my stomach is that the wrong place to gain weight and just the fact that young women or even adult women are reading these descriptions about ourselves and we are consuming this and this is what we think we're supposed to be just pisses me the fuck off like why can't we just not do that I call this the San Sansa and Arya Stark dichotomy. You are either a Sansa or you're an Arya. And if you're a Sansa, you're automatically hated for being feminine enough to like fairy tales and pretty dresses. And if you're an Arya, at the moment, you are the main female that everyone likes. Why? Because she's masculine. And it's and it's annoying. It's annoying that the that femininity is seen as something so contrary to what we're supposed to want. And then, of course, by the way, my favorite character is Sansa, so we're not even gonna. But still, like, Sansa was universally hated in general when Game of Thrones was out. Because she was the stereotype of the princess loving girl. And yes, she made mistakes. Well, guess what? Women make mistakes. Girls make mistakes. Well, except, you know, the heroine of the story, which is just perfect in every way, especially because she's just like one of the guys. I don't know. I'm really tired of this being the default for women. We are either described in comparison to other women or we are described as masculine women and the funny thing is I find this more we're not gonna talk about science fiction for a moment but it, within classics this is not a thing that happens like I was thinking about Emma by Jane Austen which I did read part of I didn't finish but I did read part of Emma is described as extremely feminine and beautiful but she also has some other things about her you know and then i was thinking about rebecca the main well the main character is described in in comparison but she compares herself to another woman it's not that the author constantly pints her against another woman is that she pints herself about to an to another woman and even though this woman is older and and there's no like who's more feminine there's nothing like that it's just her and her insecurities which i think says a lot and i think it's a it's, it's a wonderful novel for that but I'm just really tired of this like of the way we are seen not only by each other but the way that we are told to see each other and the way that we see ourselves I just wish that women were described as men in books just change the pronouns you know not not as men as in we're all like I don't know men you know like the stereotype of men what i mean is the 
the way that men are described is basically their personality traits, their 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 physical self without putting emphasis on how handsome he is, on his hair. If I have to hear one more time about women's hair and how long and silky and lustrous and beautiful it is, like I just can't. I will I will have like an aneurysm or something. I just I can't. I I just wish we were described in the same way as in make our personalities interesting different and please 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 don't make us martyrs for men to go on journeys and adventures that's the whole reason i like will never read the red rising trilogy because i don't care how good the second book is the treatment of women in the first book makes me angry and i think we don't get angry enough about this. I mean, we do, but at the same time, because now we change to, okay, so girls are not in pretty dresses. We're not the Arwen types, you know? Um, and I mean, even Tolkien had Elwin, but whatever. But we're no longer like damsels in distress, but that has turned its head on, well, we can't be anything but kind of masculine and we have to make sure we know because there are other women that are you know there are plenty of authors that don't do that but the more and more that i see of it the more i just want to kind of gauge my eyes out so dear authors of the world remember we are as varied and as different as an and as interesting as any other person out there and please stop describing us in comparison to other women and stop putting women in a place where we p are pining against each other for our differences unless you're trying to make a point about it which rebecca is and magic for liars is etc well that's it that's basically what's been on my noggin you are like i said i see this a lot in YA, but i see it a lot also in um adult fiction i see it Everywhere. I see it in TV, I see it in movies, I just see it all the time and it just pisses me the fuck off. It's just something that I just don't understand why we stand for it. But anyway, this is just what has been gnawing on my noggin. Please leave me down below what you think about all of this. Do you have any thoughts? Do you have any ideas? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think that this is okay? Do you think that I am talking out my ass? Just say it nicely in the comment section and well for now i bid you adieu i thank you for coming to my videos i remind you that i appreciate each and every one of you and that i will see you all in a galaxy far far away bye